I've even held them in my hands. Good afternoon. My name is Charles of Sabarunch. And I'm a Peter Look in 1984, I think. I was on the streets with Slim when I started teaching in Sansome and he was there a few months before me. After a while, I remember like they were on me. Then I used to live in Toronto and he used to live in Village Supreme. And we figured it would be better if we come together and rent one house. And we stayed in that house for almost two years. Um, I know Peter. Like uh, he was affectionately called Peter, Muslim, Emerson, Lucky. I mean, people love me. Very considerate guy, very conscientious. Even if circumstances put distance between us, but we still remain close. And I want to say to you that I'll have a special place in my heart for this guy. I would like to say to his family, his legacy will stay with them. The things he did, the things he said, the, the, the trail he blazed, all of that will help them continue in life. I would like to say to Kavi, his wife, hold strong, keep moving. Because I think if there's a way Peter can beyond the grave, look and do something for them he will do it on behalf of myself and my family i want to say a heartfelt condolence to all of you all his children his wife his relative hold strong and god will carry it
Good afternoon, to everyone. Very here this afternoon for a reason to celebrate the life of our dear brother, Brother Peter Lou. Today is no more yet. This part of life has gone waiting until the resurrection of the saints of God. So today, as we celebrate his life, his life, which is God, again, according to the scriptures, he is not in heaven. The spirit went back to the maker, and this body, which is mortal, will return back to the dust which man was made of. At this point, shall we start? Let me ask Pastor Hele Pidal to open us in prayer in Jesus' name. Good afternoon to each and everyone. Shall we pray? Gracious God and everlasting Father in heaven, humbly we approach your merciful throne of grace this hour of the day. We give you thanks and praise, we glorify and bless your name, God. But now, at God, worthy to be praised in heaven and in earth, you remain the same from everlasting to everlasting, thou art most high. At this time, we thank you, O oh God, that we can gather here as a body of people to witness the departure of God, of God of Peter Luke. Thank you for him, for his time that he has spent with us. I do pray for the family that are grieving even now. You will comfort them, O oh God, in your mercy. And I went your way, even as I continue this journey, so be it. In spirit and in truth. Bless, guide, and protect each and every one of them. Help that they may live a life to please in obedience to your will. And so do each and every one that have gathered here today to witness what is happening. We thank you for the blessing of the day. In the name of Christ, I pray. Amen. Let's go. Thank you. Mr. Minister,
You have to be part of his first resurrection if you win Christ with him that second time. You just think that for the number my redeemer lives, therefore, the redeemer.
and earth is done. But Lucas is over. This stuff on earth is over. And by grace, that picture will be won. So today, the loop is no more. As we celebrate his life, he's going to rest until the cross will roll back. There is something people say so often that they're in heaven looking at us. That's a lie. When you die, all your thoughts are perished. All your works you have done in life, in this life, go down with you. Your all your lives go with you. But what matters, what you do for God, that go to last. The time of resurrection, I look this time one day. I will stand one day, and when I depart in this life, and you likewise. So while you have the breath of life still, you can make a right about turn, and make that full surrender to Almighty God. Today, Brother Luke will be there. There's Peter. There's Peter. And you know, him already. All is full of energy. No, I know this young man, I know this man, we used to get in church. Born the same year. And you know, we enjoy ourselves in church. And God has for the home. But remember, light is just there for a few moments, but darkness is just at the door. Remember the day of darkness will come for everyone else. Bless God. At this time, to listen to the energy. That's what in the book, right? Good afternoon, everyone. Let me apologize for our reader. She was not able to be here today. I'm going to try to read the eulogy. Peter Joseph Emerson Luke, better known as Lukey, Sir Luke, Brother Luke, and Mosin, was born on the 25th of May, 1962, to Mildred and Adonis Luke. From a tender age, Daddy was known as one who cried a lot, loved the food, and had a passion for music, something that stuck with him till death. He attended both the St. Mary's Academy, where he left and went to Dominica Grammar School because they were not doing some of the subjects that he wanted to do. And then later on, he moved on to the teacher's college. In May of 1984, he was stationed at the San Sobe Primary School. It was there in the village of Pili where he met and grew to love his wife of 36 years my age, Shirley Duran, known as Kathy. Their union together brought six children, all named in alphabetical order. Annika, Benaya, Carlin, Danison, and Marcia Fenella. He always wanted to have 26 children, all named alphabetically. But Sadly, he only reached letter F, because mommy had enough of that. And just imagine, he was shot of one letter G, Gabriel, Gabriel, to complete the musical alphabet. So we had A, B, C, D, E, F, and we missing G to make his music notes. <laughs> he was later transferred to the Mansak Kenfield Primary School, where he served the longest from 1991 to 2009. His main focus was on sports and music, holding on to a few classes from time to time. You could find Mr. Luke all decked in his Adidas wear. He had loved Adidas. From head to toe, doing one-handed push-up or back tumbles for the students, 
and he could hear his recorders blowing loudly when it was time for music class. Assemblies with Sir Luke was unique, especially when you heard him start with Ma 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 God is good, and the children would say My God is good, good. <laughs> he had a wonderful relationship with his peers, serving with persons like Mrs. Laville, Mrs. Georges, Miss Maroni, Mrs. Vital. Miss George, Mrs. George Pinal, Mrs. Lee Joseph, Mr. Murray, and others, just to name a few. Mr. Luke then went on and served as Education Officer for Music in the Ministry of Education from 2009 to 2010. It was then he received the opportunity to further his education in music at the university level in Jamaica. Unfortunately, due to being ill, he was unable to complete his studies. Upon his return to Dominica, he was transferred to the Goodwill Primary School, where he served as music teacher until his retirement in May 2022. A career he served with pride for 38 years. He gave his life towards serving God, having been baptized at age 13 years old. He remained walking steadfast in God until death. You could always find him in service with some moves on the guitar and always giving contributions to the Bible lesson. He always said his aim was to serve God till his end, and he did so. He was musically inclined, having a child so many instruments. He loved to cook, and man, could he cook a man, especially a red bean soup and make a deadly bix. Ask the mass at school teachers. Not your mass at school teachers. <laughs> he loved to dress in his frippy suit if any occasion arose. He loved to go to the garden, which he affectionately called Zion. So he would tell you, I go in Zion. He loved planting and working his land. But most importantly, he loved spending time with his grandchildren. You will find him randomly making a song for any one of them. He was a huge disciplinarian at home and would not hesitate to discipline and steam feet. He loved writing in his diaries about his day-to-day -day activities and said he wanted to write his autobiography when he reached 70. To date, to date, as in today, to date, we have 21 of those diaries at home from 2001 to 2022. Unfortunately, he did not leave this age. Despite the challenges faced in marital life, his marriage lasted until his death, leaving behind his wife and us the six children, eight grandchildren, and many relatives and friends. Mr. Luke, Daddy, today it is with a heavy heart we lay to rest. The life on earth, though short, was filled with many fond memories. You have fought a good fight. You have finished your course. You have kept the faith. And you did it your way. Sleep in peace until the judgment by Peter Joseph Emerson Locke. We'll miss you. Rest in peace. Let's go. At this time, we move to the next song, the offering. Goodness of God. Shall we stand? Yeah. 
good afternoon. I'm going to be on here and really it's an occasion. It's an occasion that um, as man we can run away from. It will come. It's inevitable. But nonetheless, we are here and we are saddened by his passing as my brother-in-law. And we have known each other quite some time. We were, you know, poor, poor guys. But he has gone. And we're here as a family. My wife and my two daughters to sing a song entitled The Grass is Greener on the Other Side. Where the grass is greener 
Johnson. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I have known Mr. Look for many, many years. Many, many, many years. Because I was one of those that worked with him at the Massa Kitchell Primary School. I remember the first time I came to Massa, I was asked to look for Mrs. Marshall, the principal. But I met Mr. Luke by the gate. Mr. Luke was actually inviting or, or ushering the children in in the morning. And he said, why are you here for? I said, I'm here because I'm a teacher. He said, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Mama, I'm going to let up there. Mr. Luke, I met Mr. Luke about two weeks ago in Roseau. As I walked into an ice cream store, I sat down having an ice cream, and here comes Mr. Luke. He said, Mr. Luke, are you here? Mary, I want an ice cream. Mary, I should follow, I need to eat an ice cream. I said, Mr. Luke, come. We sat there talking, and Mr. Luke, before I could say anything, Mr. Luke said to me, Mary, still serving God now? Mary, love your wife. Mary, love your children. That was Mr. Luke. That's the Mr. Luke I knew. And this afternoon, I just wanted to extend condolences to the entire family, the children, the wife, immediate and extended family. And one of the things that Mr. Logan and I often did was to sing. So I'm going to attempt to sing this afternoon. Because I remember too that Mr. Luke had a mixed choir at the Massad School. And Mr. Luke said, there's a man who always been in the boys' choir competition, Mervyn Alexander. He said, Mary, you put a choir together, you can meet Mr. Boy. And we put a 13 member show of all boys choir at Master Kimpel Primary School. And we went to St. Gerald's Hall of Competition. And we sang that song by Sister App. I will follow him. Follow him wherever he may go. And when the results were given, and they said, first place. And Goodwill School is here, and Master School is over there. They said, first place. And Mr. Logan and I hold him and start. <laughs> In first place, the Master can the Prime is born. Mr. Logan said, call Mrs. Matthew, call Mrs. Matthew. Mrs. Matthew was there. And that's Mr. Logan I know, full of life. Full of life. My body told me that I should have waited. They say I'm missing a whole world of fun. But I am happy and I sing with pride. I like the Christian life.
says, um, when Mrs. Luke asked, I will give a tribute to Mr. Luke. School where it ended is never a good old primary school.
the life of Mr. Peter Luke at home, at school, and at church. Today, I will be, I will be representing the life of Sir Peter Luke. It's Dr. Owe.
Hello? Dadison, is that you? Yes, yes, Dad. It is me. I just wanted to make sure that you are okay. I'm alright. There's something troubling me a little bit, but I'll be okay. Oh, well, I am glad that you are okay, Dad. Well, I'll call you later. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Bye. Thank you, Daddy. I must make a rough tonight, dear. You're welcome. Have a good time.
the life of Mr. Peter Luke at church. Okay, that's all. Yes. yes, sir. Today we are going to. We are today. We are. Do you guys know what we did yesterday? Yes, sir. But today we are going to practice it.
It's perfect. Everything I want, I love it. Keep up the good work. I know there is anything I need to hear more. Okay, it's getting better, but keep your voice on control. You have you have it upside down, you're doing completely wrong. You need to start your books wrong. It's good, it's good. I need more. I want more. I need to be perfect. Just perfect. You next. Your, where is your voice going? Your voice going high and it's going low again. Come on, get, get to stop correct. Okay, okay guys, today we are going to be singing a song. Remember, you guys remember yesterday? Okay, let's continue. Three, two, one. Hot cross buns, 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 hot cross buns. Okay, that's enough. Now we are going to be doing foyage. Yay! Today we are going to, yeah, today we are going to weed the plant. Guys, go ahead, the seats. Okay, let's see what you're doing. It's good, it's good, but it needs to be good, better, perfect. This part has to go big. I want them to be big and sure. Next. Perfect. Keep up the good work. That's good, that's good. Does anyone need more seats? for today. Number Q468 and Zigger PU four nine four four nine. Check, check it out. Okay. Let's shoot it.
Uncle Emerson was one of the, probably, he was the most influential uncle in my family. And I spent a lot of time with him in the countryside. I learned from him, from singing to playing the guitar to learning some karate, the judo. And I remember him singing this song. I remember him singing this song quite a bit, and at that time I probably wasn't even no, I'm able to sing. And so when I was asked to, thank you. So when I was asked to sing this song as a tribute, I said, yeah, I remember that song. It's really nice. So it's a real honor to sing that song in honor of him.
Now I find out you did for the cigarette. Good afternoon. It's great that we are able to stand here today. Um, this therefore is a shock to me personally. Um, I did not really get to tell my dad goodbye, so it really took a toll on me. But we, the children, Emosir and I, he called us his twins, so. He did not have twins, but he called us his twins. So he decided to do something. And our song is entitled, Another Time, Another Place.
Many friends that have come to pay their last respect as we celebrate the life of Brother Luke. We celebrate the life of Brother Luke. You know, so much has been said on Brother Luke's behalf. And everyone that has even their tribute today, I believe it has been wonderful to hear all the wonderful singing. I wish I could sing in this summer. You know, if I had learned to be a priest, I would sing because those priests have a way of singing the world. But nevertheless, I thank God for everyone. We had some great songs. We had a great from the teachers and also the little ones. That's been wonderful. We had a, a great star here. I don't know if it's Randy Travis or if it's a George Jones. But that was a great song. And also on the behalf children that just finished singing and everybody that have given their farewell songs on the behalf of Brother Luke. I want to say Brother Luke was a great brother. He was very encouraging. He was a great legend when it comes to you know the music and to every friend of all that the church have, when the look used to be dead, 
to play their funeral. And all the children you see that when they look half, they are the ones that are always there. When the funeral, when funeral is being kept in the church. And I just want to give God thanks on their behalf. On the behalf of the children. On the behalf of the wife. On the behalf of the brethren that have come to celebrate this, the life of our dear brother Luke. He was, as I said, a great man, a great man of God. And we will surely miss him. Somebody that declares, when death has come and taken our loved ones, he leave our hope so, weary and dread. It brings it loose pain in our heart. But I want to say that this is a road that every one of us must go. But the important thing while living before we leave it is also important that we prepare ourselves for the journey. Because there is just that one time when you have to go on the journey and it's you alone that is going to walk through the journey. You alone that is going to go there. See how many people who sit here today? In, a, in just a while, which I'm not going to take too long, just, a, uh, just the next 15 or 20 minutes from now, Brother Luke is going to rest. That is his final hope. When you're in that house, when you're in that house, you cannot fight. When you're in that house there, you cannot fight your ability. Because if you watch that man in that coffin, his two hands on his side. So if you want for trouble while you're in that casket there, you're in trouble. Because you cannot open yourself to fight. So I'm saying, when you're going to go on the journey which you have gone today, you must prepare for the journey Because the time that we are living, the Bible calls this time perilous times, dangerous times, evil days have come. And the Bible and the Psalmist says, Who shall be able to stand? So when we are alive, we who are alive, we can hear. We have eyes, we can see. We have ears to hear. But when this man lie down there, if when the word was being preached, he was listening, he can't hear now. Eh? But thank God that this young brother, Brother Luke, have accepted the faith a very long time ago. And like the Apostle Paul says, he has fought the good fight and he has finished his course and now laid for him a crown of righteousness. He has gone with his travel documents You know, so many people say when they die, they want to go to the kingdom. Some say when they die, they want to go to heaven. But have you made a 
Pastor Fred Chavrin. I am asking a question. Have you made a passport for your travel? You have you got your travel document? Because you want to travel, or whether you want to not, the day of your traveling is going to come. But have, do you have your travel documents ready for the flight? We heard in the country that we have, in the country that everyone is asked to renew their passport. And the person that is 90 years still going to renew, expect him to travel, you know. And 70 years, and 80 years, and 20 years, and 5 years, they're renewing their passport because they want to travel. So, do you have a passport for your traveling? Because one day or the other, you're going to leave that earth. That is a a way everyone will have to go. So you, so you have to have your passport ready. Those of us that have accepted the faith, those of us that have accepted the faith, have received our baptism and have been walking with the Lord. Is your passport expired or is it? Is it renewed? Do you have a valid passport for that traveling? Or your passport has already expired and you are still believing that you can get to the kingdom with an expired passport? So many people are deceived and making a mistake. So many people are so deceived and making a mistake. What I'm saying today, there is a chance. Every one of us who are alive still have the chance. To renew our documents for our traveling soon because the world is getting from back to us, and every day we are seeing the condition of the world. Things are not getting better, the days are getting shorter, the prophecies are being fulfilled every minute. Now I speak so because. I am speaking like that because the one who is laying in that casket cannot hear me. So the warning is not for him again. The warning is for those that, are, that have remained, those who are alive. So I'm saying, if we have already had our passport, but let us Check and see if it if it is expired or it is still or we can still travel on it. We look at verse the book of Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse one and two, which I'm going to have already because I my glasses care of very focused. So much I'm going to use my brother here to just do the reading. But before that, let me just say a short prayer. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. You are great. Yes, you are, holy one. You walked upon the sea, you raised the dead, you reigned in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you, Lord, is wonderful. Bless the children today. Bless the wife. Bless the family. Bless everyone that have come to pay their last respect, to give their last tribute on the behalf of Brother Luke. Just come from the heart of the entire family and let peace reign for your son. Go ahead, Mida. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 1 and 2. To every faith there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Amen. To every time, there is a season. And the pastor who is living, don't forget, you have to die. Yes. The one that is living, don't forget, there is a point in time. And the time is coming that every one of us have to expire. Because the Bible said it. So read in verse, verse 19 in my prayer. I don't want to spend too much there. Verse 19 of Ecclesiastes. Yes. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth peace. Even one thing beloved befalleth them. As the other died, so died the other. Right. Yea, they have all one breath. Exactly. So that a man have no preeminence above the beast. For all is vanity. Right. All go unto one place. All are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Amen. Who knoweth the spirit of man right. that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? Hallelujah. So every one of us that sit here today, we came from the dust of the earth. The Bible said in the book of Genesis that God took the dust and he formed it and he made man. And he breathed the breath of life in man and man became a, a living soul. So the same breath that is given to man from creation, when a man leaves this earth, then the Bible is telling us the same breath that you have, it returns to the maker. You understand that? Some people say they go to heaven after they die. If they're righteous, but whether you're righteous or whether you're unrighteous, when you pass away, your breath returns to the maker. That is where it was. Hallelujah. So, so that is why when we have the chance and we're alive, we have to try our best to live a life that is pleasing before our God. And not just play Christian, not just play believer, not just play going to church. That is not the best. Not just, not just play that as though it's a, it's, it's a game of play. You understand? It's not a game when you say you're a believer. It's not a game. It's something between life and death. And you have to take it serious. Because I, I know many who have believed. And you know what they do? They turn away from the they turn away from God. I said in the beginning, we have to travel. We were thinking for when. When you read it, when you reach the airport for you to look for a travel document? Are you look are you waiting for when you reach the airport to look for a travel document? Because you need the first thing that you need when you're about to travel is your travel documents. 
So that is the same thing that you need when you're ready to return to your home, to back home, you need your child documents. You need the anointing of the Lord. You need the Holy Spirit of the Lord. And if you ask to ask, where is my passport in the home? Some would be looking up, looking down, they don't even know where their passport is. So where is your passport? In what part of the house your, is your passport? In what part of the house is your passport to travel after death? You understand that? And if you go up and down in the house, you can see the house will get to you not find it there. Yes. You will find it. Because your passport should be within yourself. The Holy Spirit has to be in you. Because the Bible says the Holy same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. If you die without that Spirit, you're not eligible. Yes. You know that? So when you're shouting hallelujah and praise the Lord, and I am going to the glory of this. No. First thing you have to do for is just the Spirit of God in you. Some people, they hear about the Spirit, they don't even know what the Spirit You understand that? Yes, yes. Yeah, now. Now I'm not going to say that to you, but I don't want to move to his grave. <laughs> but I don't want to go back to his grave where he came from, the dust he came from. He wants to go back there. So I'm not going to say that I'm happy that everybody says something and I'm the last. <laughs> yeah. First Thessalonians, oh, we're going to John chapter 5. So I'm encouraging you, Sister Lou. Now your husband is gone, the Bible says, till death part you both. So if you are, you call me. I, I, I remember, we had a brother in the church, he said, when you see my wife die, you should die before me. I'm going to look for another wife for the wife to help me to bury my wife. <laughs> because the Bible says, till death but you both. So once the husband is dead, you can understand it. Right? What? But the look was a very, he was very watching, but I remember one time Sister Luke was going away. Well, I hear everybody giving a little, a little joke on the look. So I have to give one to her. So Sister Luke was going away. Brother Lou had to take Sister Luke to the airport. But Brother Luke went to school. And at a certain time, he had to return home to take the wife to the airport. So at a certain time, when Sister Lou see that tech was approaching, no Brother Lou. So she called Brother Lou in the school. So Brother Lou said, honey, I'm coming. So Brother Lou said, what are you doing now? She said, well, I'm, I'm going to bathe. <laughs> so when she go, when I look at her, so anyway, when you finish bathing, don't put your clothes on it, because I want to give you one for the road.
those immigrants, the immigrant passing back door to come America. But you are not doing immigrant passing back door to look at King Down. You better go straight. So finally, finally, Lord, Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 to 14. It reads, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face of the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. God. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Will you see there, my brother? And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. My God. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their words. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell del delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their words. Verse 14. And death and hell will cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Hallelujah. So the devil that have all the power and all the sin, his time is coming. So the Bible says they saw small and great, rich and poor. Everybody has to stand on the day of judgment. Those that have gone good to everlasting. You know, there are some people, when you see their attempt of to die, they don't die. I know a man in my village. He was so sick, ready to die, but he would just not lie down. He don't want to lie down, he's trying to fight that he's dying, and then he don't want to lie, he wants to sit. He sit by the window watching the road, everybody passing. You don't want to die, you're going to die. But you know what happened? Death starting from dog go up. <laughs> Death starting from dog, so when it hit your foot, <laughs> your mother choice, so you must come up. <laughs> you must go down, so that doesn't play. I tell you, death don't play. So God's about that thing we too we're so strong. People making their plans for their future, they never include death in it. My friend, when you're making your plan for your future, you're going to be a commander or captain, death in it. You want to be a teacher, you want to be this in life, put death in it. Because death is part of, of supposed to be part of your plan. And if you do it and you go put death in that, you don't die faster because death check you, you give me out. You leave me out, so I don't have a choice. So, Reverend and friends, thank you for this little reasoning that we have here. That was not much, but that was a reasoning, you know, to let everybody understand. What is there? What is there for us? What is there? And let us behave ourselves. Let us let, 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 let us put ourselves in in in, in camera according to you saying it. And let's put ourselves in order. Because the time is at hand. Of breaking diverse places, pestilence. You name it. Every day you go, they have a hospital and they call it um, China. Dominican China Hospital. And that is not a, that is a dead room that dead. And that's a hospital that dead. If you want to die faster, go in the
Bless the Lord. All right. You are going to do anything? Not the time. I want to leave now. To leave. But the look. It's fine that this is. Shall we start? What I carry? What you put? Amen. Let us pray. Close our eyes. Bow our heads. That's all the truth and all. Hallelujah. Great eternal heavenly Father, Lord of hosts, the Lord of Israel, the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the I am that I am, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who sitteth between the two cherubims. Lord, we come before you. Father, we give thee thanks, for you deserve all glory, you deserve all honor. We thank you for the life which was celebrated here for our beloved brother. Lord. We thank you for those who have come from far, from near. We pray, O oh God, that your spirit will rest upon them. We pray especially for those who have participated. For those who have contributed, especially the young children, I pray, oh God, that you will guide them safely. And for those who are in hearing of the words, oh merciful God, for thy word of said it is even more blessing to hear the word. For seed have been sown in each and every soul in here, merciful God. But I pray for the local family. They are so blessed and highly favored, God. I pray, oh God, that they will be comforted. I pray, O oh God, that they will be lifted, hallelujah. I pray, O oh God, that they will have the mind that their father, their husband, their uncle, their whatever he was, whoever he was, that he was a faith-believing man. For your word of said, let us not mourn for those who mourn who have no hope. For your word of said that the dead in Christ will rise first, hallelujah. Let us all go with that hope that we will see our beloved brother again. And I finally pray for those who have not put themselves in line with you that they will make their appointed time before it's too late. For tomorrow belongs to no man. For the word have said, now is the appointed time. If you hear the word of God, have it not your heart. Thank you, Lord, for this celebration. I pray, Father, that your blessing will go with each and every one of us. This I ask. In all the name, by the name of your son, Yahshua the Messiah, I pray. Amen. Praise God. I see your friend and son to go to help to this great burial place. Praise God.
On behalf of Emmanuel and Team Emmanuel, we would like to thank everyone who tuned in for the celebration of the life of Peter Joseph Emerson. We also want to welcome everyone to the very end of broadcast live show. Please be respectful and make your way to the very end. God. 
nothing like the amazing grace of God. If it had not been for the grace of God, we would not be here. Lord, we're grateful for the grace. Mm -hmm. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught. My heart to fear and grace my fears really how precious did that grace appear the My chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like the blood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amen. The Lord has promised good to me, his word, my hope. Like snow, 
the sun forbear to shine but God who called me here below will be Time will come when the grave will not conceal him any longer. One of those days will have victory over us. Over there. The last enemy that will be destroyed. So today, as we place this body, we will place it from. That's where that will be made out. That is man. That is man. That is man. Today, we fight for all. We fight for land. You can fight there. Yeah. They have no boundary. Today, we will see what is nothing. That is the remain. What you come from? From God. To come. Those we shall return. Okay. I tell you that we remain there until Christ returns. Until the clouds will really roll back. This body is coming to From dust we come. Those we shall return. Oh, 
So there you have it, celebrating the life of Peter Joseph Emerson Look. On behalf of Emma News, we thank you all for viewing this afternoon. The family of the Peter Look are truly thankful for the love and support shown to them at this uh, difficult time. They have been touched by your words, acts of kindness, and loving support from the wonderful community that they are part of and friends and families overseas. May the good Lord richly bless all of you. On behalf of Emma News, once again, thank you all for viewing and enjoy the rest of the evening. The family wishes to retire quietly after the burial. Funeral arrangement entrusted to gentle rest of funeral services.